I have a confession to make. I'm making this video at 2 o'clock in the morning. What's going on Falcons fans? Logan here. Welcome back to Rise Up Rundown. And if you're new here, welcome. The Atlanta Falcons have their first primetime game of the season this Monday against the Green Bay Packers. The Falcons season has been very disappointing as of late. Do they even have a chance of winning this game? Let's talk about this matchup starting right now. Before we get started on our week 4 game preview versus the Green Bay Packers, I should probably tell you how my game previews work here at Rise Up Rundown. First we go over summary to the matchup, which means I describe the story for both teams heading into the game, first the opponent and then the Atlanta Falcons. After that I go over what to watch out for from the opponent. Basically it's previewing our opponent's biggest strength and we have to prepare for that. Then we go over possible breakouts for the Falcons, and in a way, it's going over our opponent's biggest weakness, but it could also be a part where the opponent isn't necessarily weak on this side of the ball, but it just isn't going to be enough to stop something on the Atlanta Falcons during this game, if that makes any sense. And last but not least, we go over keys to victory for the Falcons, which means I describe how the Falcons can win this game. So let's get started with summary to the matchup for the Atlanta Falcons versus the Green Bay Packers on Monday night. For the Green Bay Packers, they're on a roll. They are definitely probably going to go to the playoffs. Aaron Rodgers is just being Aaron Rodgers, and that's all you really need to know. For the Atlanta Falcons, it's kind of the flip opposite. They aren't really looking like they're going the right direction. Dan Quinn is on the hot seat. They just really, really need to turn this thing around and get their first win if they want to go to the playoffs. So, this is a big one against the Green Bay Packers. What do we have to watch out for from the Green Bay Packers? It's pretty simple. It's really all about their offense. It's not that I don't like their defense. It just definitely hasn't been as good as I thought it was going to be entering the season. So I think this team definitely relies on their offense to win the game. And the first thing we have to watch out for, and I don't think I need to go into depth on this, is the man named Aaron Rodgers. I mean, holy cow, he is so good at the game. I think he gets so much hate for literally no good reason. He is just out there playing at an MVP level. His receivers, you know, they'll make a couple good plays here and there, but I think it's mainly just Aaron Rodgers floating those balls up there for his receivers to, you know, get away with because I don't know if his receivers would have helped Aaron Rodgers in the first place. Basically, I think his receivers aren't the biggest strength on this team. Aaron Rodgers is just so freaking good. There's no denying it. And then the other thing you have to watch out for that you cannot deny is good is the run game. Aaron Jones has been very impressive this year, and he might even get a contract extension after the end of the season. And the Packers O-line has been apparently the number one O-line. <laughs> According to this ESPN win rate, the Packers have the best run block and pass block win rate at 76% run block, 74% pass block. So, this offense is seriously no joke, and the Falcons' defense is a joke. <laughs> um, we gotta prepare for that, because if we don't prefer, prepare for this offense, I yeah, we have no chance of winning this. Then, there are some things to talk about for the Falcons that are actually something positive. Here are possible breakouts for the Falcons. The first thing, of course, the passing game. I like Jair Alexander. You know, he's a really good corner, but Julio Jones should be coming in healthy. Calvin Ridley, I know I heard the report that he didn't practice, I don't think at all because of an ankle injury, but I think he will be just fine, and Calvin Ridley has been great. Matt Ryan, except for the previous game, has been excellent this year. Hayden Hurst at tight end is making a name in Atlanta. Uh, it's just a really good passing game, no doubt about it. And the other thing that I think will break out is actually the run game. Todd Gurley and Brian Hill have been very good uh, as of late. Well, I don't know about very good, but they're definitely, you know, turning it around after a pretty slow start. 
Uh, and the Packers' run defense hasn't really been all that great anyway. They've led up 345 rushing yards for the season against their opponents. So it's not like their run defense is anything spectacular. So I think basically our offense is going to do their thing. What are the keys to victory for the Falcons? The first thing, you got to keep scoring. When you're facing Aaron Rodgers, yeah, that scoreboard is going to be lit up. If you don't keep up with him, you're losing the game. So you have to keep scoring, which I think our offense will do. Now, here's the other thing that I think could work out. You have to bring in the pass rush. I am not exactly confident our secondary is going to step up here, to be honest with you, so I'm going to leave them out of the picture. But our pass rush could maybe improve here. I don't know if Tech McKinley's coming back, hopefully, because I told you, losing Tech McKinley could, you know, it could hurt us, and it kind of did last game versus the Bears. Hopefully, he's coming back. Uh, Grady Jarrett and Dante Fowler are doing their thing, and apparently the Falcons have the sixth highest pass rush win rate at 49%, so I guess our pass rush is no joke. Now we are playing supposedly the number one O-line against the Green Bay Packers, but if we bring in the pass rush, it you know, Aaron Rodgers is not easy to tackle. He can scramble and make plays, but surely you got to put pressure on him a little bit, and it'll affect the throws a little bit, right? So you got to bring in the pass rush, and you got to keep scoring. I think that's pretty straightforward for the Atlanta Falcons if they want to win this game. But that's all I got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Other than that, I will see you guys with a game recap this Tuesday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern. Love and appreciate you all for the support. As always, rise up.